G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joel Woodle and welcome to Nightingale and welcome to the full release version. It is finally out, it's not a pre-release, it's not a stress test, it is the actual proper game. Oh, and it's just as gorgeous as I remembered it. So right off the bat, I want to say a massive thank you to Inflection Games for sponsoring. This is a sponsored video, believe it or not. For sponsoring this video, uh, the link to the game is in the description down below. But to celebrate it going live, uh, they've asked me if I wanted to play their game. And I was like, well, I already have. And I was going to win so anyway, so absolutely I will. Um, it's 30 bucks on Steam or Epic, uh, whatever currency that translates to in your local region. Uh, and up to six players at the time. And it's available now. That's all the notes I needed to say. I was too excited to come back and play that I didn't memorize anything. Just wrote it down and hoped I'd figure it out. But thank you, Inflection Games. And with that said, oh no. Oh no, with that said, the Ghost Moose. The Ghost Moose is back. I'm staying away from you. It's already started raining and I'm getting real bloody soggy about it. I don't have my umbrella. So I'm going to have to figure out how to make one of those at some point. It's actually really nice coming back to this after playing the pre-release stuff and like coming into it now with some sort of an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing. Hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to play a little bit better than last time. Less faffing about and hoping for a miracle and a bit more talent, I hope. I saw this rock when I first loaded in and I, I can't help myself. I can't. If it's a base building game, if you're going to give me construction, of course going to go to the tallest peak of the tallest tower like i'm princess fiona waiting for shrek and build my house up here because how could you not how could you bloody not one of my favorite things about nightingale is because everything is randomly what do they say it's not randomly generated it's randomly assembled from a whole bunch of like pre-established parts because everything's done on the fly randomly every world is going to be different so this is different to where i've played before so it's a whole new adventure waiting for me and a whole new view. Gonna whip up my tent on top of the mountain so I can get out of the rain and start drying off a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna unsogify myself. Resting. Gonna need a cheeky sleeping bag. Gonna put you over there. Now, some of the things that I learned when I was playing in the pre-release stuff is that different crafting stations, they need to be like out of the weather. They need to be linked to others. They all kind of talk to each other. Kind of like in Valheim with the different workbenches having their upgrades. So I need to make sure that I actually... Oh my goodness. That I actually allot enough time for everything. I'm pressing random buttons. I wanted that button. Because look at that. <laughs> As if like lightning storms and shit happening out there. God, this game's pretty. I love it so much. Put my campfire out of the rain. Just about there will do. It's got that green line saying it's talking to my bedroll over there to make everything better. You can have... I don't want to put all of you in them. All right, yep, sure, you can have that one then. I've got some things I need to cook. Roasted meat. Get you on the boil. Nice. Already... Oh. Nice. So some things have actually changed from when I played last. Like, for example, the torch now has the flame effect actually on the torch, not down on your hand, which is just a little thing that I, uh, I enjoy the change of. But, like, some things have just been polished up that little bit more, and I'm all for it. I'm going to chuck down my steak can up on top of the bluffs up here because I'm absolutely going to be living here. You can go there. I'm missing two stone blocks. All right, hang on. A little bit soggy. In fact, this one, there's one right here. Here's what I prepared earlier, like a cooking show. Grab all of you. Whack you in. Nice, Gary. Get, oi, oi, puck. Come in. Come on, look. I'll be a terrible host. Come into my little abode. Get out of the rain, would you? I know you're like a deity, but you still don't want to be wet. Puck's told me to go and check out the antiquarian down there, which I will do. I need to get my gear score to 20. And this time, I'm not going to get told no by the Phantom Menace Gates. If I get there and it's still all lit up, I'm just going to say nah and walk through it instead. Lessons learned from last time. I need all of you to finish crafting up my stuff. I actually... Oh, g'day, Pucko. How you doing? How far you've come. I haven't come very far at all. Wild. I need to get out of my face, please. I'm getting real bloody drizzly out here. <laughs> There's time and a place for a chat puck, and it's not in a rainstorm. Gonna whack down my workbench right about there. Gonna need a couple of bits of wood. Is is the ghost moose out there somewhere? He was the best lumberjack you've ever bloody seen. Carving up splinters like you wouldn't believe. My floor's all like. My floor's all very higgledy piggledy though. It'll all be, it'll be fine when I make myself my own house, but for now, things are just kind of on the piss. All right, I'll be right back. If 
fact, not. Hang on. Hang on. I was taught by a bear once to not burn down the forest, especially now that I live here. I came out to get some wood and there's like a casket out here. I can't open it. Can I, can I desecrate someone's grave then? I, I don't know. I mean, it's made out of wood. It's making wood noises, but I can't seem to break it apart. What about with the pickaxe then? Mm, no. All right. Well, fine then. You keep your secrets. You've been buried with something valuable, I'm sure, that I'm not allowed to have. It's just the height of rudeness. It still, <laughs> it still makes me get distracted. I mean, look, anything that's bright and shiny will distract me at the best of times, but... Oh, man. Uh, the way the games are going lately with just how pretty they are, like the shading's good, the colors are good. Like, I want to live here. What, what would I ever want to go to a different world, realm even, when this one's just so bleeding wonderful? You can have that. You're now done. Yeah, now nah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And the first thing I'm going to make is you. The simplest thing, I need straps and some wood, but I'm also gonna make myself some rock marbles. Now that I know that that's the ammo for the sling bow, I'm not gonna go without it, not even for a moment. So to make my sling bow, I need some straps. If I need straps for almost any sort of tool I can make out of you, and to make the straps, I need hide. So it's got to that unfortunate part of the game where to progress any further, I have to go and murder. Turns out, murder, it's the solution to all of my problems. There are some deer in the woods and I could try and stealth it, but they're usually pretty observant. Oh, there's a lot of them too. There's a whole lot of them. In fact, they're running up to the bluffs where I live, so they can't escape. Works, mate. Get you. You're made of hide. So are you. Oh, oh you almost escaped, but not... <gasps> Oh no! Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have to go full Disney villain spec. I can't just leave an orphan. As I said, murder is the solution. <laughs> I murdered his parents. I can't just let him run wild. The wolves will get him. I came into this not expecting to be the bad guy, but just like Bambi, suddenly there's a lot of dead deers. I'm gonna very quickly just... <laughs> Carve up and hide the evidence. No one can accuse me of murder if they can't find the body. If I turn a body into my tools, they'll never know. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> I'm sorry, bud. I'm sorry. I'd give you pats, but I'm holding a knife. And that's just making it worse. We shall not speak of the atrocities that I've committed, but I am going to cook up the atrocities that I've committed. Whack you on. Craft you. With all the extra things around you now, you only take three seconds to cook, so that's bloody good. Get another one on the cook as well. Delicious venison for everyone. <laughs> what's what's baby deer called? Is it is it still just venison? Like I can know how like like veal is a baby cow. So like is there like baby venison with a different name? I don't know. I'm not sure I want to know, but I would like to sleep again at some point in my life. <laughs> the nightmares will change me forever. Make myself up a couple of bits of strats. So is it like was it one or two that I needed for the sling bow? Two for the sling bow. Two for the axe and then two for the pickaxe as well. Now, I'd like to have one of each of these things, but I'll just focus on the most important for now. That's the wrong button. I just ate a random mushroom. I hope that was good for you, champ, because otherwise you're going to be sitting in your tent for a real long time. Uh, I need another one of you, please. That one, that one, and that one. I'm moving so much faster. <laughs> now that I actually have an idea of what I'm supposed to be doing, making so much better progress. I didn't notice it until just now, but you can actually queue up multiple crafts there. You couldn't do that before, but they've added it in. So you have like a crafting queue down here to stack them all up. That's wonderful, but I don't need any more rock marbles. I do need one of you. There's two of you. In you go. I'm going to put those rocks back away. That one, that one, you as well. In fact, most of the stuff I don't really need on me at the moment. What? Tier 1 Prey? What are you? Can I, can I see what you are? I, I, I don't know what you are, but it's a different kind of meat. But all right, I'm going to put that meat into slot six then. There you go. I've also got some more mixed stuff. Yeah, nah, nice. Nice. I'm, look, I've got a smorgasbord in my pockets. And I'm not just happy to see her. That is a sling bow. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. We're flying. The sun is setting on my first day, but it's been... Oh, look at that. Look. Alright, alright Nightingale, you want to just like slow your roll there? You're making me feel things that I wasn't quite ready for. 
But the sun is setting on the first day. I have had some serious success. I've got my bow. I've got my axe, which in my mind is the best weapon in the game. But I just need a couple of more gear scores before it's going to let me go and check out the... If I say this right, the Antiquarium, which is that big temple just down the road down there. I'm going to have a quick little chat because I think there's... I mean, last time there was some NPCs down there. There might be some this time around as well. I haven't seen the Ghost Moose yet. I'm sure he's out here somewhere stomping about, but he's like an old friend. I miss him. Here we go. Here you all are. We've got... Ooh, we've got a new NPC. G'day, Anne. How are you? Don't take this the wrong way, but you've got a real big pickaxe in your hands. That makes me very bloody excited. We've got Wilhelmina. I said that wrong last time. Wilhelmina Sassy. I'll speak with you. Can I do the job for you and steal your companion? Anne's better off with me. I like Anne so much more. So to recruit Anne to my cause, I've got to build their little outpost here. You can have... In fact, I've got barely anything. I do have my sequel though, so I can harvest up all of this. Nom, take you, take all of that. Don't know why you guys couldn't do this. All the materials you need are three inches away. Although, you know what? I keep trying to tell people, three inches is a big deal. Here you go, lass. There's a bed for you. There's a bed for Anne. And there's a bed for Harold. And you can't fire as well. Done. Absolutely done. All nice and sorted. And I get a reward as well. You might have some trouble laying your head down here, but that's okay. 24 essence dust. Thank you. Nice, Gary. All right. Hazza, what's going on with you? You need to sell me the... What I need for you again? It was the the spinning wheel. That's the quest I have to get. Ooh. Simple sewing bench. No, it's different this time. Simple sewing bench. 55. I can... That's just 55 regular essences. Not like the tier 1 stuff that I had to get last time through. That's a good change. That's a good change. Having to try and scrounge up the better essence to buy... <gasps> to buy the things we need was really annoying. G'day, Ghost Moose. I've missed you. Look how gigantic and majestic you are, Northern Size Matters, but the best lumberjack you've ever bloody seen. Let me give you a scratch. Let me give you a scratch. Scratch. Scratch your little underbelly. Oh, I miss you, you big gelatinous bastard. Look at ya. So cool. Oh. Oh, that scared me. What? What's wrong? That actually made me jump. I got goosebumps now. I haven't, I never saw you break into anything more than a real delicate trot and suddenly you're galloping through the forest? Are there bad things out here? Can you stay and protect me, please? Ghost Moose is best friend. Please don't leave me alone in the darkness. <gasps> hey, the big fat stops. No good. I've done the mission. So can I, can I have you now, Anne? You want to come with me? Speak with Anne. For hire, recruit Anne. Recruited by me, it's safe to travel alone. Yeah, nah, nice. I'm gonna quickly manage your inventory and give you all the heavy stuff because I'm way down like the dickens at the moment. Yeah, you can just hold on. Can I give you like a, can I give you like a proper, a proper weapon instead? If I give you that and I take that off you, does that mean you roll with a knife? No, no, you, you're not putting anything in your hands. All right, fine. All right, Anne, calm down. Apparently the knife's not big enough for you. So how many essences did I need from Hazard to buy, what was it again? The simple sewing bench. Refinement, spinning wheel, mason bench, no. Building's crude. Ooh, advanced wooden roofs. It's going to cost me 30 bucks, but no, I don't have that at the moment. I needed saw table, simple sewing bench. There you go. I need 10 more. 10 more essences. Um, you've got a bunch of wood on you, but I'll leave that for the moment. I'm going to cut down a tree. Use that. Oh, as my eyes adapt, use that to scrap the essence and buy it right off the bat. Dude, we are flying with this. I had so much trouble with this last time. They've streamlined it so much more. I extracted all the essence that I needed. Hazza, would you please sell me the thing I'm after? Wasn't you, refinements. No, it was basics and repair. Sewing bench. Ooh, I could also get the enchanter's focus. I don't think I'm up to the point where I need that yet. I'll definitely buy you. That's the quest. Buy that one. Thank you. Job's done. All right, well, I'm going to quickly head back home. My fast travel. Fast travel to respite for... Oh, for nothing. Nice, Gary. Look at that. The moon's rising. Anna's floating up cliff tops and stuff. Now, 
How'd you get up there, Anna? You like Bloody Mary Poppins. You whipped out your umbrella and you flew away. <gasps> Where's my umbrella? Hang on, I need an umbrella. I've slept through till morning. Oi, Anna. You want to come out? Sorry, Anne, not Anna. <laughs> Forgive me that. Anna's just your nickname. It's fine. You want to come out here? We'll build ourselves a park bench and watch the sunrise together. Stop it. <laughs> what do you reckon, Anne? You were stoked as I'm about this? You're a, you're a smiley girl. I'll tell you that. You're clearly stoked about the romantic scene I put in front of you. All right, then. Fine. Never mind. I can take it. He would have beat me in the face. I need some more wood to make my sewing bench to hopefully upgrade some gear and get into the temple. So the antiquarian. <laughs> I'm not using anyone's right name today. I could see myself losing way too much time in this. Just, like, not even really going through the wrongs, which is kind of the whole point of the game, I suppose. But just just hanging out in a world that's my own and building myself, like, a castle on top of a bluff like this. With, I was going to say with Anne, but she's doing some suspect things, so I'll try not to count her in. Chuck in. No, I, I need some more wood. I need... And don't make this weird, but I need some more wood. The sewing bench is done. So what can you give me? You can give me, oh, you give me boots. I need leather and plant fiber. A pack for extra inventory slots. Oh, I like the things you're whispering to me. Gloves, head wrap, breeches, and a shirt. So this stuff, I mean, it's all leather padding. So this stuff should give me a better gear score so I can go into the antiquarian. You, I've got, no, oh no. Oh no, we're gonna have to go Disney villain again. I need leather and deer are made out of leather. Oh man. <laughs> and don't judge me too harshly, but we have to go on a cheeky little massacre. 20 minute massacre, that's it. I'm really hoping it's easier now with the sling bow. Stop right there. Oh, it would have been. I almost clapped him in one, but nah, he's running away and all his family are mad at me now. <laughs> Probably justifiably. Oh, just a little bit more damage. A little bit more damage. And I had you cooked like a skillet. There you are. Oh, come on. I gave you some lead. I have no idea how fast the marbles do or don't fly. Miss it again. All right, fine. Fine. If you're not going to let me do it the easy way, we'll do it the old-fashioned way. One down. <laughs> they're all they're all down there. You can run, but you can't hide. The butcher is coming for you. They're trying to get past me. I've hit another one with the marble. Oh, you're going that way. You're stuck in a rock. God, and you are too. Did I, did I finish you? No, damn it. Nah, I didn't. Nah, it's okay. Hunting's a bit more difficult, but once I get some better ranged weaponry, that should... That should be fine. Do you want to, like, lift a finger or something in? I know you're fancy and you pop your pinky out when you have your cup of tea, but if you want to help me get some snacks... Well, you know, if you've got to live together, you've got to pull your weight. And pulling your weight means snacks. Oh, and... Hold on a second. Do you see what I see? <laughs> All right, clearly not. Bye, Anne. There's something else that's caught your interest, but I see wolves. Wolves are made of hide as well, and I feel significantly better about putting them down as opposed to the hapless deer. So I completely shanked that shot. I need to figure out. And don't walk across me my bloody muzzle of my bow. Oh, for goodness sake, stop. That was about as good a headshot as I could have done, but he didn't die. That one missed too. Oh god. Oh, they're big. They're big and they're furry and they can fight back. I, I missed when I was fighting the deer. At least then I felt like I had a chance. Uh oh, Anne, help me. Anne, do anything, Anne. What are you doing over there? It's been a pretty bloodlusty morning, but I've left enough deer out there to hopefully repopulate. I haven't just murdered everything. I've had a little bit of self-control. Uh, I need leather, though. So you, leather, I would like to make all that I can, please. Craft up all of you. I actually have, yeah, I was going to say another lot from the predators, so from the, um, from the wolves. It's going to take some time. Is that you making that noise or is, ooh. Oh, all right. Cheers for that, N. While you're whacking on some rocks, I will take the bones back out of you. Thank you. All right, look at that. Now you're doing stuff. I want to see while I'm doing all this, while I'm waiting for my leather to be crafted, it's just doing its own thing. Love that I don't have to sit there and actually do it. It'll just do it for me. Is there... Oh, I can search. Chair. No. Bed. Oh, duh, duh. Sorry. B is the button for the build menu when it got rid of everything. Bench. No. Is there... I'm in, a, I'm in the wrong section. Is there something I can just sit on? You know, I've got a nice view, a nice area on top of the mountain like an old school farm estate. Speaking of estate, there's that. Is there... 
No, we haven't unlocked anything cool yet. Okay, well, I'm going to resist the temptation to build a castle for now because there's other things I have to do that are a little bit more pressing. My leather has been sorted. I've already grabbed half of you and made myself a shirt. So I'm also going to need some pants probably. We don't want to get kicked out of the, the antiquarian as soon as we show up without any dax on. You, breaches. You, craft that. Only going to take a moment. Jeez, you stitch it together fast, don't you? You can go like, you. Equip. And then equip. And they're also then going to, like, as dapper as I looked before. It's also a shoddy shirt. Wouldn't be seen dead in that. So extract the essence out of you. Extract the essence out of you. How are we looking now? We've now got 15 gear score. Okay. So we're, we're moving up in the world. We're doing a little bit better. Just a lot more murder to go. <laughs> it really is all I have to do. Well, no use hanging about at home, and We've got things to do and hapless creatures to accidentally murder. I say accident myself, I feel about it. It's like Hitman. You know, I'm going to drop a chandelier on a deer or seven and pretend like I had a choice. Cheeky essence, some extra stone. I am just going to use Anne as basically walking pockets because everyone loves pockets. You can hold on to that for me. Look at that. You don't have to get weighed down with things other than my burdens to carry everything, even my emotional baggage. I still haven't been able to unlock my umbrella yet, which is a little bit upsetting. That was one of the coolest things about the Broly was you could jump off cliffs and float down to wherever you needed to be. Whereas Anne can just teleport apparently. All right, sick. <laughs> Take me with you next time, please, Anne. I want to try and find, well, well, first of all, some more deer or wolves or something, but also some of those little like mini game-esque things, like the little things around the world that give you superpowers. Because if I can get one of those, I can probably get myself up to the 20 gear score and open the door into the antiquarian. It's all about tactics. Think, think smarter, not harder. I feel like there's heaps more of these I was gonna say POIs, but like just like things in the world, elements of the world that aren't strictly uh, like quest orientated or you know for any sort of reason, just um, world elements make it more immersive. Like it's random symmetry like that. Oh, there's something. Like I feel like there's a lot more of those little things about that uh, there wasn't last time. Release you. It's just someone's diary. Didn't get my brawling out of that one. All right, where's where's one of the games? Where's one of the unlocks? Where are they all? Oh, uh-oh. Clear the enemies. It's like a jackalope thing cruising about. All right, I don't think you're... No, those are the enemies. G'day, bud. I mean, you're nothing that an axe to the face can't fix. There's one. Oh, those delicious, like, critical hits when you hear, like, the glass breaking. It's actually just their skull. So satisfying. So good. What do you reckon, Em? You finally used that big pickaxe of yours for something worthwhile and... Defended me? It's not like, oh, I, I, I accidentally found one of the minigames I'm looking for. Puzzle Core, I'll take you. Hope Echo, with a wall sconce schematic, thank you. Endurance, I'd like power, please, thank you. Does that make me more powerful? I mean, it's the essence of power, a bloody should. Nope, still just 15. Still just 15. I love the render distances. Like, because each realm is a relatively small island, it never, like, drops out of the world. You can see my little tent all the way up on the clifftop up there. What a great spot for a base that is. I mean, I've got a lot of bases in a lot of different games in my time. That might be one of my favorites. If I could really expand on that and take over the whole clifftop, that would be the tits. Speaking of tits, though, is there anything else that needs to be murdered around here? I need some more leathers. To make myself a sweet ass outfit. Where is everything? There's some wolves in the clearing over there. And well, I'm getting pretty desperate for their leathers. So give me some lead. Or stand still. I think that went a little bit too low. I'm not actually sure. I need to figure out the ballistics of a rock. There we go. That was a good pill. They're a little bit pissy. And I need, I need you to move. <laughs> You're right in the way there, Anne. You're not doing us any favors at all. That's better. My arm was breaking. There was... All right, all right, and focus on the wolves that are still alive. Stop chopping up the carcass. They're all, they're already dead in. Just relax a bit. There's more wolves in the trees, but I just noticed there's a V button down the bottom right. Oh my god, I can I can piss oh, I can sling bow whip. That should be an easier button to get to than V. You can't really do that in a pinch. Like even like I put it on one of like the side buttons on the mouse or something. That would be a very useful thing to have. What if it actually does any damage though? No, it just like, it just pushes them back. There's a little bit of damage, but not much. Noted. 
I might need to go through and like rebind some of the keys in the more useful positions, but they, oh, yeah, there you go, and see, that's the appropriate amount of violence. You just put them down, make sure they can't eat me anymore, and then stop swinging. Oh my God, there's a waterfall. There's a waterfall. That means there has to be secrets behind it. That's the, uh, I don't make the rules. That's the law of video games. You can't have a waterfall without secrets behind. I, I mean, look, I love where my little encampment is, but this place might be better. Like that rock right there, you're gonna have the waterfall in the backyard, only one way to get out there. So like Boston, it's a great way to have a good defense. I, uh oh. What do you reckon, Anne? I mean, look, you're 50% of the equation here. If you want to live here, we'll live here. We're a, a fair old stonking way from where we live at the moment, but... Oh, heck, look at that. There's like a personal little lake, a little river. Uh-oh. <laughs> and I'm falling in love. I've got some bad news for her about who. Oh, look at that. Holy shit, they've thought of so many things in this game. There's a rainbow? A double rainbow? Because of all the myth... I... And it's like, it's like actually properly refracting from where I stand. Like it doesn't always show up. It depends on where I'm and where the sun is. Dude. That gives me the tingles. That makes me feel all sorts of fizzy like I'm a freaking tickle me elbow. Stop it. Stop it. That's so good. There's some more deer. There's some little ones in there as well. There's a whole family of deer just next to this big bluff I'm coming to check out. Just, I'm just scoping out, you know, uh, a potential real, a real type potential biome. Looking at the location, check out the local schools and whatnot. I mean, it's just as good as the last one, isn't it? It's just as good as the last one, except there is a river here. So all that very important ocean going trade. That's where you build cities. Nice big ravine next as well for quick escapes. You can have your little balcony up here for your coffees and frothies looking over a waterfall. It's hard to say no to, is it? Oi! Nah, you're fine. You're, I thought you were breaking shit, but you're breaking okay stuff. It's hard to say no to something like this, isn't it? <gasps> Plus, imagine a sick-ass bridge you could build across there too. I might need to. I might need to. I, I don't think I can say no to this place. And make... In fact, can I do this? Can I mark it on the map? Right. Here. I'm gonna go with that one. I'm gonna mark that on the map because this is our new future home. I want to see if the old trick still works. If you aim away from the wolf and start swinging and quickly bring it down. Yeah, there we go. That's way quicker. Please, please never patch that out. It's so good to be able to like quickly harvest, not have to play the whole like slicing and dicing animation. Get all the gubs out of it nice and quick and move on. Okay, speaking of moving on, I've got what's that? It's 15, 15 pelts. And I'm adding two per leather and then two leathers per item. So we need a couple more. We're not quite done. Explored a lot of the island though. Look how far we've gone. Oh. What was that? You can't just play scary as fuck War of the World noises at me and expect me not to ask any questions. Is it that? Was that there before? Now, now's not the time, and for goodness sake, I'm packing me Dax and clenching like you wouldn't goddamn believe, turning my intestines into diamonds at the moment. Oh, and there's a saw, there's a storm coming through as well. Uh, I don't have my brolly. Uh, we might have to, or I can fast forward back home whenever I need to, actually. Um, and. I don't, I don't know what color gables you're in at the moment, but can you just hang out with me for a moment? <laughs> that was a literary joke. <laughs> Rare for me. You can hold on to all of that for me. Thank you. All right. Before it starts hailing and I start dying, we're going to find one more animal. One more anything before the War of the Worlds comes for us. Oh, not now. Not now. Oh, there's a, a grenadier in there. Hang on. You're gone. Yeah, you're up. Oh, hang on a second. You're going to throw a couple of bombs at me. And Anne, I'll protect you, Anne. You take care of the others. I'll get that big horny boy over here. Gone. What are you? Can I, can I break? Oh, I, I, I don't know what that is. I'm going to stay away from it for the moment. Anne's getting, <laughs> Anne's getting beaten up, but I got you. You okay? You all good? I think so. There we go. Now I can interrupt the um, Unlocked a simple hammer. Where's me brolly? I need my brolly, mate. I didn't notice this before, but there's now like a potion specific spot. So Q 
is your health potions. That was one of the things I was struggling with in the like the pre-release, having to. Ooh, hello. Having to fumble my fingers around to try and get my potions out and a spot of bother was a bit difficult. Grab you. Oh! Oh, I'm sorry! I'm sorry, I thought you were trying to tape me, but no, you're just a baby! I murdered the baby first and the piggly wings is a man! Sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry about that! I didn't mean to murder! <laughs> I'm a monster. I've come to this world and wreaked havoc. I'm sorry. You're just too delicious to not. I think those balls were the last ones that I needed. So I'm going to quickly travel to rest block. Thank you. Get my way out of the storm. Look at that. Perfect. That was a, that was a long teleport all said and done. Nice. Okay. So you, real fast, make me... What do I need again? Quickly consult this. I need boots, which is leather. I've already got... I've got a bad capelet, but I need a better one. So I need two then. That's three, five, oh, six. I don't need a head wrap. I need six. I need six leathers. I should hopefully have just about enough. Leather. Make all of you. I can make four. I can make four, but... I've still, I've still got the prey pelts to go. We'll be fine. I'm going to quickly make the slightly better cape. It's going to cost me two leathers, but I've got that. Only a couple of seconds, and that should give me the last gear score that I need. Fully dressed. There you go. To unlock the antiquarian. So I've now got 20 gear score. I'm looking... Oh, look at that boy. He's, that is a man. That is a man who is ready to take on whatever is coming his way. He's got a tent. He's got an N. He's got a big old sturdy throbbing axe in his hands as well. Oh. I've, I've, I've lost sight of him though. There you go. Look at that. Poised and ready. Poised and ready. Like any good adventurer should be. What a lad. I just noticed that bit down there. That little bluff. Just ev everywhere. Everywhere in this world makes me want to go build castles. <laughs> just, it's just the way it is. Like that one there. That would be a great spot as well. Where I am is a great spot. The place where I'm actually going to build my castle. The waterfall is an even better spot because it has a waterfall. I just love I just love building games. I love it so much. And this game is giving me the itch, the need to go and build so many cool things that I haven't quite got around to yet. But I think that's going to be a job for the next episode. Because now I've got the gear level I need. I can go through the antiquarium and go and explore the depths of that and see what's changed down below. And hopefully not piss off another ghost move somewhere. But also, I just, I don't know. I'm just having a great time. I'm having a great time. What do you reckon, Ed? Yep, that soaked as always. A full beam and smile like I'm used to from you. Always a pleasure to talk to. But I'm going to have to leave this episode here. Once again, a massive thank you to Inflection Games for sponsoring this video. Uh, I'm having a ball in Nightingale, so I will absolutely come back and play some more. We'll have to come back and build my castles and explore the temple, the antiquarian, in the next episode. Because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon the patreon who made this episode possible if you yeah, like make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel follow me on twitter we're going to talk to you there first i'll see you in the next episode have a good one